Hey friends, quick video today. Today I want to show you how to add a Copic marker look to your traditional sketch on Lipat. Why we need to do this on Lipat? When you are doing this on paper, a lot of us are kind of hesitant on adding color to the paper base because if we mess up, um, there's really no way to go back and edit the sketch and the color itself. So what I thought I would be uh, showing you today is an interesting exercise. So this is a sketch that's actually drawn on the iPad, but we're going to pretend that this is a physical scan. When we bring this in, we're going to have a white background. So we're going to use our Copic marker, which is a special customized brush that I have. And you can download this in the description below. This is available from the felt pen look to the watercolor to the marker look. So this marker is the one that will be demonstrating today. And you can just simply install it and start exercising with me. The first thing I want to do here is to build a new layer and I want to make sure this layer is set on the multiply blending mode and not the normal blending mode that comes in by default. And this is just to ensure the color that we put on is actually going to blend into the line weights below. So this is a must no step if you're bringing in a JPEG with a white background. Another thing we're gonna do is to actually left swipe on the line work layer and we're gonna lock this layer just in case we don't draw on this layer by accident. So you can see this composition is entirely line weight based right now. And I'm gonna be using this Copic marker to add in depth to bring out some of the maybe harder to read areas by incorporating some shades of gray. So we're gonna start with just one shade of gray. Maybe there's gonna be a couple more, not quite 50, but we're just gonna start maybe with a couch itself. So I'm doing this for the first time with you. So there will be mistakes and I will be talking through my thought process. So hopefully you can follow along or you can actually be practicing with me with a sketch that you have. So this marker is going to be dictated by this size slider. So I'm just going to bring in some color to this couch just to highlight the three dimensionality to the couch themselves. I'm gonna bring some marker to the side of the sofa just to highlight that roundness. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of kind of a texture to that throw. The beauty of this is you can just double tap to go back. I'm gonna select the larger marker to color in these chairs right here and this one right here. And now let's do the same thing for these three stools that are by the kitchen. Give it a little bit of color to the back of it and maybe if we decrease our marker we'll highlight and we'll give the legs of the chair a little bit more reading as well so these are meant to be wood veneer counters with a very minimal hole and this kind of texture will be happening throughout in the kitchen design so it's gonna be a lot of wood as denoted by these very little bit of a uh, squiggly lines and there's gonna be a little bit of wood on this the refrigerator panel and then there's the wood doors that's going to to be opening into the pantry. It's going to decrease the size of the COVID marker and maybe it's going to give it the, the stucco finish on the hood. Just a couple of dots just to give it a little bit of texture. So that's probably all I'll do there. This ceiling on top of the kitchen, that's also meant to be a wood ceiling. So I'm gonna pick maybe a slightly larger brush just to go over this area a couple of times. Something that's a little bit different than using a real marker versus a Copic marker on the iPad is just the feel, the quality of it. So there's going to be a slight nuance to how this will translate into a real marker. But, you know, that's not the point. I'm not trying to imitate exactly. I'm trying to just uh, get a good feel of that with my digital brushes. So these these are cable railings with flat steel panel that leads you to the upstairs bedrooms. Now that we've got that out of the way, let's do a couple more things in the landscape. So there are some bushes and trees that I want our eyes to be drawing out. We're gonna just do a little bit of decking material just to bring out that texture. Same thing with the cedar siding that's in the background. I'm gonna give it a couple of lines across. This is a little hard to read, but these are the slatted materials that will act as the canopy. I'm gonna just just gonna do a couple of things here just to highlight you know maybe the movement of the grass this is gonna be drawn a little bit differently and we have the same thing with the area rug on the inside of the living room we're gonna do the same thing just to bring out the fuzziness of the rug by doing this kind of gesture 
I'm at now this little bit of tree. That is a very big tree on the outside of this picture window. Make sure to adjust your brush size accordingly. So you'll see that these are picture windows that can look into the bedroom. So it's hard to read without any depth. I'm gonna do the same thing for these picture windows and I'm gonna do the same thing for the skylight. So maybe I'll do a couple of lines on the tabletop like this. All right, this is already looking a lot better. That is a, a wall mounted TV in a fireplace. Here we have a drawing. Let's give that a little bit of color just to anchor our eyes. At this point, maybe I would be interested to adding another shade of gray. If you want to do that, just create a new layer. And then we're just going to decrease the brightness of this. And then we're going to do this on a different layer just to see if we can bring in some additional depth. Make sure that new layer is also set to multiply so that you're letting the color come through. This is all very experimental. If you don't like this, you can turn any of these layers off. So we're gonna just bring some shade maybe into this overhang for the kitchen island just to make that more legible. And then we'll add in a little bit of shade to the side of the panel. And perhaps we'll give the bushes in the background a little bit of shade to one side to indicate that there is some sense of uh, sun. And then maybe we'll do the same thing with give it a different shade to the wood decking. So another thing that I'm noticing is this shade is a little bit warmer than I like. So if you want to completely desaturate that. So this is really a monochromatic look. For the sake of simplicity, I'm going to group these two layers and then I'm going to turn on and off this layer. And to me, in about 10, 15 minutes of time, you can add in a lot of depth to a black and white drawing by using this Copic marker brush inside Procreate. So hopefully this is a quick demo of what you can do in 10 to 15 minutes less. And uh, I'd love to hear what you think with one of your sketches.